everybody. So today we are in Montana and I took some video of us driving in here. Um, on the, we looked up this state park before we came and the landscape was completely different than what we were seeing on the way here. So in Montana, the landscape is so weird. So one minute you could be in flatlands and then the next minute you're on top of a mountain looking down into these you know, great big canyons and stuff. And so I knew that the landscape had to change. We were like three miles away from the state park. So it, you're gonna see in the video, it goes from one, you know, landscape and you crest over a hill and it's completely different once you crest the hill. So anyway, we are here at the Medicine Rock State Park and the cool thing about here is they have all of these really neat rock formations where they're just kind of sticking up out of the ground. This is not a really huge state park, but it is definitely going to be a neat one. We're kind of hoping to see some old carvings into the rock and things like that. Apparently this is where, um, when a lot of the um, Native Americans would come to do form, um, hunting parties, they would all meet here before they would go out and go hunting and stuff. Um, we'll hopefully learn a little bit more about you know the history of this place and see what kind of cool stuff there is. So this is part of the history of this area. Um, the Lakota tribe found this to be a unique landscape. Just the, the geography here was completely unique and different from its surrounding. As I said earlier, you know, when you crest the hill, everything's completely different. And so they thought that this particular area had spiritual significance and, you know, was, was um, you know, good for spiritual medicine and things like that. And so that's how it kind of got its name as, you know, Medicine Mountain. They would use this area. They would use this area to look out for enemies and spot bison and things like that so they could go out hunting. Anyway, very neat. Let's go in and check out the park. These are some of the neat rock formations. Now, obviously, these are you know, modern day carvings into the rocks. Here where people have wanted to leave their mark, but it's just so neat how these rocks just pop out of the landscape. It is just so amazing. So cool. I'm hoping that this helps you to get a depth of the rocks. They look so small, but honestly, they're, they're not very far from me, but I'm a little bit higher than they are. But these rock formations are massive. And then when you look over here, I mean, there's tons of them. There's another massive rock formation and they, they're just scattered throughout this rolling hills. It is so neat. I, I just, it's amazing to me, the geography here. You have these rolling hills with these massive rock formations just poking out. Some of them are, are in trees. Some of them are just in those rolling hills. Some of them are huge groups. Some of them are just one rock formation poking out. Anyway, this is really cool. <laughs> So this is the rock up a little bit closer. All of these holes are just so neat. I have no clue what makes them, but if you look at them, they start off as little pits and some of them have stuff in it. I have no clue what that is that makes these holes in them. But then, I guess that's what makes these huge formations and divots in there. 
Look at that. That is just so cool. You can actually see through it there on the top, and it goes way up. I'm not sure what makes those great big holes, but as you can see, you can see right through the rock there. Oh, it's just gorgeous here. And then you look out there and it turns to just rolling plains. And then back here, huge rocks. here and I just found this super interesting. We always like trying to find different ways to get back home or to go places, you know. We don't necessarily like driving on the interstate everywhere we go. And most of the time these back roads are just, you know, whatever it's back road, you see some pretty scenery or whatever, you know, but this, this back road has been interesting. It came up on our GPS as an alternate road. It looked like, you know, a major alternate road, you know, like a a typical back road that you would see but this is anything but typical I feel like we're driving through somebody's property it has been dirt roads the entire time oil fields we're driving through all of these oil fields and then there's cattle everywhere it's it's crazy and then here we're coming up to another one they have these cattle grates you know which makes me feel even more like we're on somebody's property it is the craziest thing because cattle will not cross over these these grates in the road and so it, what they do is they just dig it out and they put these bars over top of it so you can you can drive but it's basically a ditch covered by a grate but cows won't cross over it so really you just feel like you're driving through somebody's property but it's really kind of cool because it's like oil fields for as far as you can see and then there's you know obviously deer in the draw there but it's just really cool because it's not your typical back road but all of these roads have been 
just this dirt road like nothing's paved out here even like the we've turned several several times on our way back home that's been like an hour and a half drive and all of it has been just these dirt back roads every turn we've made I mean even the turn to go back onto the interstate was a dirt road to get back over onto the interstate I just found that was very interesting that that you know a good portion of Montana's back roads are not paved 